here it is, uh, April 7th, and uh, we're, um, I guess we're getting started about a month early. Um, I had wanted to, uh, to get the first nail in the wood on uh, May 7th, but uh, here we are. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's hot. Um, I think it's about 82 degrees uh, here in middle Georgia, and uh, it's much hotter than I thought, which makes me think, man, I'm glad we're not doing this in July and August. So uh, we got a lot done so far. I mean, we really just started. We got, uh, we got the floor joist attached to the frame all the way up. Uh, we haven't bolted them down yet uh, because uh, we have to put our radiant barrier in. So we're going to pull the joist back up, lay the radiant barrier down flat across the trailer, and then put, uh, put our floor joists back on, and then go ahead and bolt them in. You can see uh, that the bolts are countersunk, that way the, because we're using carriage bolts, so the heads are countersunk, that way there's a nice flush area for the, uh, for the slub floor. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for a break, to be honest with you, we've been out here for about four or five hours. Uh, Crystal was out here earlier, and, and Tilly was over there playing the whole time. Tilly Madison just loves it. I mean, uh, she loves being out in the sun and, and just being in her playpen and watching us and probably wondering what the heck we're doing. So uh, it's just been a lot of fun. And, uh, man, I can't believe it's really it. I mean, this is, this is it. This is where we turn a house plan into a home from this day forward. So... I'm going to go ahead and get out of the sun, take a break, and then we're going to come back and put some radiant barrier down. And then uh, put the floor joists on and cover it back up with a tarp and call it a night, I think. So, um, yeah, we're done for now. ready to move on to the next step which is going to be to add the radiant barrier. Now in this particular case we're using Ecofoil white double bubble barrier and so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the joists off, set them off to the side making sure to keep them in order because they're all you know they're all cut measured and cut exactly for each uh, each 16 inches that they're, they're on. Um, so we're going to pull those off, set them off to the side and then we're going to get ready for the ecofoil. Now, in order to put the ecofoil down, what we're going to do is we're going to cut three strips. Each strip is four foot wide. So if we had two strips, we'd have eight foot. But what we want to do is we want to wrap around the sides, around the back, and around the tongue area. So we're actually going to use three strips so we get about a foot and a half on all four sides that we can wrap up once we put the joist back on to secure the foil in place. So. We're going to go ahead and get that started, and then we're going to get the ecofoil put right, on. So we have reached that time when we are about to lay down the, uh, the ecofoil radiant barrier. Now this is the radiant barrier that was sent to us. It was shipped just like this. It came in a thick plastic bag uh, via FedEx. Um, also in it was, uh, was the acrylic adhesive uh, poly tape, which we're going to use to tape the seams together. Um, this particular right here, this particular product right here, and I'm going to read it to you off the packing slip. This is a 48 inch by 125 foot double bubble foil insulation, white foil with UV resistant facing. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to be putting the white side down uh, parallel with the ground and then the aluminum side up. So uh, that way the barrier is utilizing itself or rather, we're utilizing the barrier as best possible. Um, now, a little bit about Ecofoil. Uh, we came across Ecofoil maybe um, six or seven months ago, and uh, we were really impressed with their product. We knew that we didn't want to go with aluminum flashing uh, like you would buy at uh, one of the box stores. It just didn't seem like it was the product we wanted to use. We wanted to find something uh, that was a bit more sustainable, that had a little bit more insulatory properties, that sort of thing. So Crystal was doing some research, she came across Ecofoil, and uh, I guess about um, uh, about six or eight weeks ago, um, so mm, middle of February or so, I just reached out to Ecofoil, uh, sent him an email and I talked to him about some product and some things that we were 
we were interested in and what we were doing. We were fortunate enough to have them uh, join us in the revolution, the tiny revolution, as, uh, as sponsors. So uh, we're using this EcoFoil product. We're going to take it out to the trailer. We're going to spread it out. We're going to cut three strips of it. We're going to use the tape to uh, tape the seams. Then we're going to lay it down and put our joists on top so that we have a nice radiant barrier, a nice insulatory barrier for our tiny house. So, we'll see you out at the trailer. We've taken the ecofoil, we've installed it on the trailer, we've then put our joists down over the ecofoil, secured them in using carriage bolts, washers, and nuts. Now, I want to remind you that your process, even though you may use the same product, your process is going to be a bit different because every project is a bit different. So I want to review real quick what it is exactly we did. We took, cut three strips of the ecofoil. Now remember, it's four foot wide, we have an eight foot wide trailer. So three strips created a 12 foot wide quilt of ecofoil. That way we can wrap up the sides, we can wrap it around the back, and wrap it around the tongue of the trailer as well, underneath of our subfloor. Took two pieces just like this. We then laid one piece down, put a piece of tape underneath of it. Took a second piece, joined them together. We put the, uh, we put the foil side facing up so it keeps our heat inside our home and we put the white weather resistant side down so it would reflect the moisture uh, so it would keep the moisture away from our home while maximizing the insulatory properties of the product itself so just like this we just took a piece of tape and uh, here we go just took a piece of tape just like that laid a piece down on the trailer then went back with a piece of tape, took our second piece, joined it together like that. Then we took a third, uh, excuse me, then we took another piece of tape, cut it of course, laid it on top to finish the seam of ecofoil just like this. So that was our project. That's how we put the ecofoil onto our trailer. Again, remember, even though you may use the same product, uh, your project is different from our project, so your application is going to be different, but I guarantee it's a good product to use. We've been pleased with it, pleased with the application. Um, and having said that, I want to thank you for watching this video and for being part of the Tiny Revolution. <laughs>